previous videos, I neglected to share that we had a mix of adults in our first home fellowship. We had singles, widows, divorced, and married people. We frequently helped each other with biblical applications for our homes, workplaces, and schools, and even applications that applied to our fellowship together. As we continued doing this, we experienced that with each application of God's Word, we were being transformed, sanctified. Sanctification is the process of being set apart in Christ's character for His use. This is the work of His indwelling Spirit. The transformation began in the unseen niches of our hearts. Our attitudes, motivations, and actions were being brought into conformity to Jesus. Being set apart from the world for our Lord's purposes with the help of His Spirit had been totally underemphasized in the prior religious experience of everyone in the fellowship. Not only were the applications life-changing, but also the humility produced in the process was life-changing. We found ourselves repenting as we realized that in our ignorance, we had violated God's commands. This was a good thing as we matured in this practice, we also experienced increasing number of testimonies to divine answers to prayer. There's another area that I introduced to the fellowship in the early weeks of our getting together. It was having peace in their homes. In the decades before our first home fellowship, I had counseled religious leaders. This gave me opportunity to speak in many congregations throughout New England. Sometimes standing in front of a congregation of stressed out faces, I would ask, when does your home experience tension most often? <laughs> By far, they would blurt out that it was getting ready for the Sunday morning service. But there were also many other times people shared when their home lacked peace. In our home fellowship, I realized early that peace in the home wasn't seen as a necessary value. Fathers, along with their families, allowed for a good deal of apprehension and disagreement to go on. A family's mutual pursuit of peace and tranquility in their home had never been a consideration. I helped them see the biblical importance of peace so that the love of Jesus could really blossom in their homes. There is no way to keep peace all the time, but when the peace of the home was disrupted, they each cooperated in helping restore it. The Hebrew letters for peace, shalom, mean authority that keeps chaos in check. God foresaw the importance of authority in the development of shalom in the home. Even though the husband and father is responsible to him for peace in the home, the entire family needs to cooperate in peacekeeping. If peace were valued in their home, it would also be valued in our home fellowship. Within the home fellowship, I did do some policing. For example, I didn't allow disagreements between a man and someone else's wife, and vice versa. When all the family members saw how biblically important it was for the husband and father to maintain peace in his home, we were able to create a team feeling about maintaining it. Also, because we cherish the presence of children in our midst, we didn't want to have any reason for them to leave while we were gathered together. For example, if someone was facing personal problems during the week, I didn't just want them to come to the gathering and dump it on us, you know, unless it happened on the way there. I strongly encourage each of the adults to contact Sue or I, or someone else in the fellowship if they encountered any kind of difficulties during the week. Many home fellowships at that time in this nation 
were destroying themselves by becoming therapy sessions where the adults spill their guts out. One more point about children. Wherever they could help and within each child's capability, we encourage the parents to let them help. The children help set up before potluck, as well as help clean up afterward. They put their toys away before our gathering left. We were an intergenerational team effort. Many hands make light work. If you haven't noticed in these recent videos, I frequently come back to children. I think Abraham Lincoln summed up our Lord's heart about children. No man stands taller than when he stoops to help a child. There is great blessing in both the home and the home fellowship when you turn the hearts of the men to the children and the hearts of the children to the men.